Hey guys, welcome back to the Martin Racing Channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about something that you have to do before you ever buy a big bore kit or engine kit from TB Parts or T-Bolt, wherever you go. But three things you need to check. You need to check your cylinder height. That's one thing that slowed my build down tremendously. I ended up getting a 69 millimeter sit with a kit and I needed a 78 millimeter. Another thing you need to check is to see if you have a 14 millimeter wrist pin or a 13 millimeter wrist pin. And then the third thing that you need to check is you need to make sure what size your cam sprocket is. I was sent a 28 tooth cam sprocket and my bike came originally with a 32 tooth cam sprocket and so we're back again we're going to finish this in this episode so keep your fingers crossed i'm super excited to see how this thing's going to do it says it'll double your horsepower we're going to find out how bad to the bone this thing is all right so if you're turning it backwards which i know that's not what it does but it acts like it slips in here but if you turn it forward it acts like it has all the chain on the gear here and the only problem we have is this it's just and as soon as as soon as it hits that stroke it, then jumps, it jumps time around. i'm gonna put you on one it ain't easy Very small. Well, I mean, freaking sprocket takes up the whole thing. The whole hole. Now, you didn't want to try to get it on top dead center? Uh, well, yeah. That little. All right. Oh, yeah. It's going to be tight. Don't bust it. Hmm. You see how far it's got to go? Yeah. All right, guys. So last you saw, we both got super frustrated because you couldn't put the cam sprocket on. And this is the 32 tooth sprocket. And I had to order that because the kit that I bought came with the 28 tooth. So anyways, once we got the 32 tooth sprocket, you couldn't get the sprocket on because the timing chain was too tight. So TB Parts was my, my main connection I've been talking to is Matt. He was out of town, he's on vacation. And uh, I happened to look and see that T-Bolt USA sold the same parts. And so they have a, a number that you can text and within 30 minutes, Vince from T-Bolt USA started talking to me and telling me what was wrong. And so he said that this bolt right here actually puts tension on the timing chain. And he told me to take it all the way out. So you'll see what I have here. So I took that all the way out and we were able to put the cam sprocket back on. Now, the chain is super tight. But he said that that should work. So we're going to put this piece back in. And then we're going to say a quick prayer and cross our fingers at the same time and see what happens here very soon. So Lord willing, this thing's going to crank up and run how it's supposed to. But that right there is a big issue. If you don't know to do that, you're not going to get this cam sprocket on. I mean, this cam sprocket on. So... In the future, if you have the same issue when installing your big bore kit and race head, you can't get your cam sprocket to go on, pull this bolt out, which is right here, to the right from where you change your oil, and then you'll have a little bit more play in your timing chain. And once we screw this in, 
it's supposed to supply the correct amount of pressure on the timing chain to where it's good to go just like the factory one was. So we'll see you here soon. So stay along with us and let's see what happens. All right, there we go. So you're gonna take your end and put over the spring. And then once you do that, you're gonna take the black tip in and push in there. Once you do that, you're gonna to try to push your spring you inside of here. It's a lot of spring. <clears throat> and try to get it started. We're gonna see what happens. With oily fingers. So once again, I was super thankful that Vince over there at TB, uh, T Bolts USA was able to help me out because, like I said, Matt was gone, and uh, I'm sure Matt would have been able to help me, but Vince came through in a uh, in a need of time. That's for sure. So uh, make sure whenever you're shopping, you use both these guys. Tight. I think it's good. I'm fixing to go ahead and put this engine brake in oil in. Uh, everything's put together. So we should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. We're using the Royal Purple brake in oil. That's what they recommended. So that's what we're going to use. All right, guys, it's a moment of truth. Spark plugs tightened up. Got the air filter all cleaned up, ready to go. We're gonna see if that timing chain has it where it's supposed to be. Hopefully it's not too tight and everything will go great. Uh, but this is gonna show you how the break-in procedure works. All right. This experiment. A couple of times. All right, nothing so far. Ain't no compression. Close, close.
I get some of those. It's got to be somewhere close to 150 or 160. 170. Yeah. It said five to ten minutes. We're at six. Yeah. What a mess. Mm. Sweaty hands. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that, but he is happy. I was pretty. We were pretty worried. We couldn't get it to, to do right. Had to give it some throttle on the gas. Uh, it busted off, but yeah, the compression does not seem anywhere like where it was before uh, putting the kit on. We were kind of worried because the cylinder itself, it's about two millimeters longer with the gaskets than the factory one. And so, you know, that's why the timing chain was harder to put on. And also, you know, we were kind of worried that it wasn't going to have enough compression. But we finally got it to pick up and crank. So it could run, you know, might be bad to the bone. But we're not going to know until we get this break-in procedure done all the way. It's kind of a weird break-in procedure to me. But, uh, I mean, we're going to do it exactly like the book said. And that way, there's no way we did anything wrong so uh, stay with us we're gonna keep going hopefully we'll get out there riding here in just a little while but it is alive so that's what matters the most so. <laughs>